Today, I'm going to reuse old parts to build a new computer. All right, so to start this off, this machine is an old iBuyPower machine. That's my donor machine. Uh, I know the hard drive works, uh, the power supply works. I'm, uh, I'm a little sketchy when it comes to the motherboard, processor, or RAM. But no matter, because what I have down here is an RX 5700 video card, which I'm going to put into this machine, uh, my old X99 motherboard, my old CPU, and my old RAM. The CPU is faster than the one in the system, the motherboard is better than the one in the system, and the RAM is not only faster, but larger than the one that's in the system. So really, the motherboard, CPU, and RAM in this system is just going to get stripped out. I'm going to throw everything else back in, clean it off, reinstall, set it all back up, and we're going to do it all on video today. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is take everything apart. So let's get started. I start with some RAM. Then the USB expansion card is removed. From there, I unplug as many wires as I can. Once that's done, I move on to dismounting the CPU cooler. I remove more wires, and then I pull the remaining RAM sticks out. With everything disconnected, I unscrew the nine screws holding the motherboard down. Oh, looks like I missed a screw. There it is. With all the screws removed, we slowly lift the motherboard out of the case and then disconnect the final power cable. I almost forgot to pop out the I.O. shield. With everything disassembled, we now have to clean everything we intend on reusing. Nothing works quite as well as a $1 disposable paintbrush when it comes to dusting a computer. Followed up, of course, with a bit of compressed air. Look at how clean the fan turned out with simply brushing the dust off. Now we move on to the case. Loosen all of the dust you can with the brush and when done, blow it out with compressed air. Once that's done, finish it off with a paper towel and rubbing alcohol. The alcohol will evaporate so it's safe to use for this purpose. With the case nice and clean, it's time to install the new I.O. shield. Now, I lower the motherboard into place. Once positioned, I install the nine mounting screws. Let's get the power wires plugged in. Now, 
I'm using dual channel memory, so I make sure to skip a slot when installing the second chip. Now before I can install the water cooler, I must apply thermal paste to the CPU surface. Now I'm old school, I like to spread a proper coating around the entire surface of the CPU. With thermal grease applied, I mount the CPU cooler. We do a quick power check by shorting the power switch jumper to make sure the motherboard turns on and the fans spin. With that done, it's time to rewire most of the system to the new motherboard. The more time you take with this stage, the better the end result will look. This system isn't anything special, I didn't put too much time into it. Hmm, it looks like the hard drive is going to block the graphics card, so we're going to need to relocate it down a slot or two. With the graphics card installed, we route its power cables and do a last little bit of cleanup before we put the rear panel back on. With everything finished, Let's plug in the wires and check for a display. And we have a display. So now let's install Windows. With Windows and the drivers installed and updated, let's run some benchmarks. Let's see what our spare parts machine can really do. Okay, so the kind of frame rate we're seeing is between 90 and 120. That's the range from low to high. Right now, I'm seeing uh, 101 to 102 on average. Um, and everything, this is 1080p, everything is set on ultra, maxed out in Battlefield 5. And it's running buttery smooth. So I'd say we did a pretty good job with the system. I say these parts are more than sufficient. I mean, I'll, I'll give it to the video card. The video card is doing most of the work in this context but the cpu and system and ram is able to keep up so i think it was worth it combining these systems and you know building a scrap machine that's great as a secondary computer or even a backup computer i mean it is what it is or you know put it together sell it you'll get some more money back uh, but there you go guys all right so here we have sea of thieves uh, we can see from the frame rate counter, I'm pulling somewhere between 90 and maybe 140 frames a second. Okay, I dipped down to 85, but keep in mind, everything is maxed on this game. Now, this game doesn't take that much to run, but it is a, you know, it is a game that a lot of people play, me, myself included, and um, it runs pretty smooth, dare I say, flawlessly on this recycled system. On the open waters, looks like we're pulling in close to 150 frames a second with the uh, 6800K Intel processor and a Radeon 5700 XT on max settings. 32 gigs of uh, 266 megahertz memory. And uh, dare I say it, this is actually running amazing. So it's just to show you don't actually need the you know newest and best hardware on the market to um, enjoy yourself and play a game. You don't need that. So anyway, guys, I'd say that this little recycled system build we just did with um, us utilizing old parts from one system to uh, build up a new system uh, is a good idea. And if you have some old parts, give it a shot. I just wanted to, you know, I was going to do this anyway because I had the parts and I figured why not film it, show the process of ripping everything apart and putting it back together and showing that, you know, it actually runs pretty good for an older used system. 
And as always, guys, if you like this video and you want more like it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It, and I'll see you next time.